So about the mechanism of labor. First of all, we have to look normal mechanism of labor, normal steps of this labor, normal vertex presentation. Just going into briefly. Then only we will be able to understand the breach presentations mechanisms. So first of all, what is that? Engagement. See what is engagement? We, we are familiar with that. That is the child's uh, baby fetus heads longest diameter engaging that is getting into the pelvic inlet that is the engagement that's the first step second is descent by your abdominal muscle contractions and uterine board contractions the child the baby descends down then flexion that is the pelvic floor muscles are providing a resistance from downwards to up and next is internal rotation that is the child's head is being rotated to align in the maximum longest diameter in the pelvis so that it can come out easily then extension by extension only the child's the fetus head is delivered out then by in internal rotation we have to see that uh, remember that internal rotation is this this alignment see this alignment of the child's head the longer axis in the AP diameter which is the long axis of the pelvis so this is the if this is the head and this is the axis of this is the long axis of the head it has to come see this much to align the head to align the head in this AP axis if this is the shoulder this blue thing is the shoulder uh, we are looking from up above its long axis is this one <coughs> being just opposite being more just perpendicular to the long axis of the head and that also has to align in this anterior posterior AP diameter so that it can come out so there it has to rotate this much in the opposite direction so that it aligns itself in the AP diameter so this alignment this rotation inside the maternal pelvis is this internal rotation so just remember one thing in this case in usual case this is the left occipital anterior position it has to rotate one eighth of the circle see this is the one eighth of the circle it has to rotate one eighth of the circle and uh, into this in this direction uh, in this clockwise direction and after the delivery of the head then we have to deliver the shoulder also the shoulder has to rotate again one eighth of the circle but in the anti-clockwise direction just opposite direction this we have to keep in mind and there is another one another thing is that uh, there is in this internal rotation twisting is happening there if it is head then it is twisting at the level of neck if it is shoulders then it is twisting at the level of trunk so whenever there is a twist it has to untwist also so if the deliver head has gone twisting in the pelvis one eighth of the circle in this direction and after the delivery of the head outside the body it has to uns untwist in this opposite direction in the opposite one eighth of the circle so that it untwists and that untwisting occurring outside the body is known as the restitution see this restitution then only the thing works and after this there is external rotation that is if assume that the head has delivered out first it has got internal rotation then it has delivered outside the body it has got restitution coming back to the normal position then this shoulder has to deliver for that the shoulder undergoes internal rotation so internal rotation in one eighth of the circle in this direction so the head is has already delivered out and head is outside the body so while the head shoulders rotate one eighth of the circle in as internal rotation inside the maternal pelvis a corresponding rotation corresponding rotation of the head occurs outside the body along with the shoulder rotation so we are only seeing the head out so the head rotation outside the body corresponding along with this internal rotation of the shoulder huh that is known as this external rotation that is that we are calling as external rotation and that also that occurs in this direction see 
along with the shoulder rotating in this direction the head also rotates outside the body in this direction after the restitution so if uh, the internal rotation of the head is in this direction the restitution of the head is in this direction <coughs> in the anti-clockwise direction and also external rotation is in this anti-clockwise direction that is in the same direction as that of this restitution so restitution and external rotation are in the same direction just opposite to the direction of this internal rotation okay this is the principle this we have to keep in mind always whatever be the position if this there is twisting there is untwisting outside the body that is if there is internal rotation then there is has to be an restitution with that there has to be an external rotation also and keep in mind internal rotation if it is one direction then just opposite to that occurs the restitution and the external rotation okay after that there is delivery of the whole baby outside this is the mechanism of labor okay next uh, about the mechanism of labor in breach so in our case first we are dividing our mechanisms into three headings first the delivery of the breach that is the buttocks second the delivery of the shoulders third the delivery of the head of the fetus under these three headings we will be looking so it is much easier because we have already discussed about the normal mechanism next only the thing that worries is how it differs only the only the small differences so coming to the delivery of this breach first thing is i've told you there is engagement here the engagement diameter is by trochanteric diameter that is by trochanteric diameter is this between the two trochanteric trochanter see this is the buttocks this is the child's position and this is the by trochanteric diameter see here this is the i've drawn it buttocks like this a view from above as a cut section as a cross section this is the two points these two points connecting to these two points this is the inter this by trochanteric diameter and this diameter we have seen that this we have uh, the common position is the left sacro anterior position here in this position this by trochanteric diameter is lying in which axis in this left oblique diameter in the left oblique axis it is lying so that is engagement then next is the descent with increasing compaction next is internal rotation internal rotation same here that is one eighth of the circle is it is rotating that is see this is the long axis it has to align itself in this ap diameter the longest diameter so that it can pass out of the maternal pelvis so it has to rotate one eighth of the circle in this direction that is internal rotation by that see this is the anterior see this is the anterior buttocks see this is the anterior buttocks it will lie just below this pubic symphysis okay see like this it occurs anterior buttock is lying this is the posterior buttock this anterior buttock is lying just beneath this pubic symphysis that is internal rotation okay next we have to look for the lateral flexion that is it delivery occurs by lateral flexion that is by anterior hip appears first see here anterior hip appears first it is delivered under this pubic symphysis it comes out first then by lateral flexion the posterior hip is also born lateral hip flexes and posterior hip is born next is the delivery of the trunk so then there is restitution of the buttocks i have told you after the internal rotation it has to untwist itself okay after coming after delivery in outside the body it has to untwist itself that is the restitution and that is one eighth of the circle backwards okay that is backwards next is delivery of the shoulders here the engagement diameter is bisacromial diameter that is look at the figure these are the two shoulders two points we are taking and this is the bisacromial diameter across the acromial process okay and see here it also lies in this diameter 
it also lies in the oblique left oblique diameter so this is the engagement next is internal rotation internal rotation is same here that is this bis acromial diameter in this axis it has to align in this ap diameter so for that one eighth of the circle that is to rotate in this direction and it delivers easily see it it lies like this like like this so the this this is the anterior shoulder this is the posterior shoulder so anterior shoulder lies just beneath the pubic symphysis okay after attaining this in position this ap diameter position next is birth by lateral flexion similarly the same as before lateral flexion and the both upper limbs are being delivered and in lateral flexion first this anterior shoulder is delivered under the pubic symphysis then by lateral flexion posterior shoulder and the arms are being delivered then yes there is restitution once there is internal rotation of this shoulders after its delivery outside the body it returns back untwists back one eighth of the circle and that is the restitution of the shoulder over next what is the only part which is the only part remaining inside the maternal pelvis yes the head only it is some risky that is we have to take it out as soon as possible that is as there is high chance of birth asphyxia yeah so coming to the delivery of the head engagement first step here the engaging diameter is sub occipital frontal diameter this is the diameter okay and this diameter engages in just opposite to the to the diameter of that of the shoulders and this buttocks see this is the diagram this orange colored i have drawn is the buttocks its long axis this by trochanteric diameter is this see this one this is the buttocks long axis and what about the head that i have marked in green the green's diameter of engagement is this one this one just perpendicular to that of this buttocks one so the diameter of engagement is also different it this head is aligning is engaged in right oblique diameter whereas the buttocks as well as the shoulders engages in the left oblique diameter so just opposite oblique diameter to that of the buttocks engagement buttocks and the shoulders engagement that's clear next is descend with increasing flexion we in case of breach what keep the fetus head in maximum flexion so then only the babies the fetus head delivery will become easier so this we have we have to keep in mind with increasing flexion there you have descend next is internal rotation see with the head is in this in this left occipital anterior position head the axis is in this right oblique axis so it has to align itself in the longest diameter of the pelvis that is in the ap diameter for that the easiest path way is that this path one eighth of the circle rotating in this opposite direction here we have seen shoulders and the buttocks rotating in this direction as with one eight one eighth of the circle in this direction whereas this head is rotating in one eighth of the circle in this direction and then it aligns in this ap diameter so hence the sagittal suture lies in this ap diameter next is birth by flexion by constant frontal pressure the head we have to keep in the flexion and under the pubic symphysis if we are looking uh, the head delivers out the first the chin is delivered out then the mouth then the nose then the forehead then the occiput or everything is borne by flexion okay that's all then we have to think of another possibility in case of a sacro posterior position we this breach we are discussing in this most in the most common position that is the left sacro anterior position but what if there is the position is sacro posterior then the sacrum that is the buttocks the aligns in this direction there's uh, shoulders also aligns like this in this diameter it rotates 
one eighth of the circle to align in the epidimeter and after after everything the head the head lies like this the head lies like this the head has to rotate in this case three eighth of the circle instead of one eighth of the circle so that the occiput comes beneath the pubic symphysis uh, so that the head aligns in this epidiameter so that it delivers like what we have discussed before so, occiput coming just beneath the pubic symphysis for that three eighth of the circle it rotates in case of sacro posterior position rarely rarely it rotates backwards like this rarely it rotates backwards we should not allow it to rotate backwards so once breach is born then always kept anteriorly okay